we're going to talk about uh, what's going on with India. I've I have uh, addressed this a few times. Um, I've talked about this on a dispatch. I've talked about this on Ron Placone's show. Uh, I've I've I think I have uh, mentioned this uh, in brief. Currently, what's going on in India is that they are dealing with the. the a really, really fucking terrible portion of the pandemic. There's a lot of people affected by this right now. And uh, right now, um, India has crossed the the record of uh, one-day cases. The, they, they have officially hit the most amount of cases in one day that any country has had uh, throughout this pandemic. Uh, before this, in, America held, held the record, which, what a bummer. For, for the for America no longer number one in something right like you can't um, hold that in your head so recently maybe about a week or so ago they hit over 2400 cases in one day pretty crazy uh, a lot of doctors not vaccinated so the doctors that are treating people that are getting covid uh, putting them on ventilators and um, all that sort of stuff not vaccinated because fuck them they're not they're not if you're a brown person and you want to be a doctor, you come over to fucking America and you be a doctor here. That's how you fucking be a doctor. If you're brown, you come and you fucking help the states. You be that model immigrant that we want you to be. If not, you get no vaccine. That's what they'll get that fucking guy from Seinfeld and be like, no vaccine for you. That's how they'll fucking do it. And again, I, I don't. I, I have no interest in getting into an argument about whether you think the vaccine is good or not. Regardless of it, if the idea is that this thing is going to help stop the spread of the virus, why aren't we giving it to as many people as possible? And starting with the, the doctors across the world. Um, so because of this, now the doctors are getting COVID, and you know some of them are like, hey. They still want us to go in and treat patients with COVID, which is just going to circulate this fucking illness around, right? Because the Modi government doesn't want people to know that the doctors are too sick to help this already sick people. It's it's sort of this vicious cycle of the pandemic. So, you know, a lot of doctors are like, hey, I'm having a harder time breathing than some of my patients are. You know? I can't go in to fucking help them. And, but the Modi government's like, no, you have to. There's too many cases. So you have to work overtime while you're sick and dying of this debilitating disease. And so, so the doctors have started describing themselves as cannon fodder. They're basically like, yeah, well, we're treating them. We're also going to start dying. And once we're gone, like, who's going to fucking help people? You know, and the more this thing spreads, the more, you know, it, it has the uh, potential of mutating and uh, the the double variant that they're seeing in India uh, is possibly vaccine resistant um, and uh, spreads faster than any of the other variants. Um, and, you know, on a personal note, that that kind of information scares the shit out of me because my parents are still there dealing with my grandfather's um uh, you know, uh, cremation and, and, and the rituals that go along with that. Um, and that's scary. Cause I don't know what the fuck is going to happen when they come back. Are they going to even be able to come back? I don't know. But so right now there's a volunteer group that's trying to help these doctors. And the government gives them about a thousand rupees a month to help them out, which by the way is about 13 bucks a month. That's how much money they get to, these volunteers that are trying to help out these doctors. Um, the Modi government also didn't give this group any PPEs. They gave them double, double thick fucking blankets to stitch masks out of. So they're, they're like, here, here's the material. We're giving you 13 bucks a month. Make some masks, right? Like they're, they're, they're really not doing fuck all to help these doctors. And part of it might be that the Modi government might not have enough shit to make masks. They, they might not have enough materials or uh, enough workers or what have you to make the PPEs. They might just, they just might not. Uh, so the, 
you know, part of the problem here is vaccine imperialism. The 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 richer, whiter countries have held on. They hoarded a bunch of vaccines. I, I talked about this in a piece maybe two weeks ago. Um, America does not have AstraZeneca approved. But they're hoarding a bunch of fucking AstraZeneca vaccines. India, on the other hand, does have the AstraZeneca vaccine approved. Why would you not take what you already have and say, here, take this and deliver it to your people? It's like, like a million doses or something. Why would you not do that? They go, oh, no, 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 it's... It's for, um, you know, it's for emergency purposes. Why are you hoarding a vaccine that's not approved in the States for emergency purposes, man? What's what's the deal with that? So the, so, the, so the richer, whiter countries get to keep their vaccinations. And then they'll they'll tell people to go out, you know, hey, don't worry if you're if you're vaccinated. Eh, you know how we said fucking herd immunity needs at least 80 percent of people vaccinated. Eh, fuck all that noise. Just go out there and start spending money. Don't worry about India. They'll spend money in their own time. It's like, yeah, but people are dying. Yeah, 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 whoever survives this wins capitalism so they can buy more shit. That's the way that they see this stuff. So they're not opening the patent so that, you know, India can make its own vaccines. They make 60% of the world's vaccines. And roughly less than 2% of people are fully vaccinated in India. So they make 60%, but get 2%. Now, to make problems worse, there's also black fungus that is uh, creating a lot of havoc um, in India. And, uh, you know, this thing is, this thing is, a, is, is a fungus. It's not, it's not a virus. It's not a bacteria. So it operates a little differently. Uh, you, it can't be transferred from person to person, right? Like if if I have black fungus and I come and hang out with one of you guys and we're we're sitting and chitting and chatting, I'm not going to pass that on to you. Uh, you can you can tell because it'll make your nose black. That's you know, and it gets into your lungs. It prevents. Uh, it makes it really hard to breathe. It, it can spread and infect other parts of your bodies. Uh, there was one thing where, like, they had to remove somebody's eye to prevent the spread so it doesn't go into their brain. Like, this thing is pretty, pretty brutal. Um, they used to face about 20 in a year in India. And I think they're facing, like, uh, you know, like 100 a day or something like that, which is crazy. Um. The way that this thing shows up and spreads around is from substandard housing, which there's plenty of in India. Uh, they they have a vast amount of income inequality, just like America does. Uh, so substandard housing, old walls, you know, things that don't get cleaned up from the monsoons. They, you know, it's, it's shit like that, um, and unclean conditions. Which right now the hospitals are getting overfilled. So a lot of people don't even make it into the hospitals. They're they're on stretchers outside. They're on ventilators in, uh, you know, in the middle of the street, and they're they're on O2 tanks, things like that. So one of the possibilities here is that this thing started and got worse, and then got into the walls of the hospitals and things of that sort uh, because of unclean oxygen tanks. Now, here's the thing. The UK, the US, the EU nations can all come together and say, you know what? We're going to send them PPEs. We're going to send them oxygen. We're going to send them ventilators. Get America back to work, right? You want you want to get Americans back to work? Great. How about we uh, use the, the Defense Whatever Act? I can't remember the name of it right now. But, you know, the act that basically says we'll kick up manufacturing. You, you pay a, Americans a decent wage and then you ship this shit out to India. You give this stuff out to India. Hey, you made $6 trillion. You just made up $6 trillion for the banks. You don't think you can make up a, maybe a trillion for this manufacturing so you can help out this country? This country, by the way, that America needs because they're part of the quad. 
and I don't condone this, by the way, but if you if you think like an imperialist, right? If you need this country in order to like fight China, which is what they're trying to do, uh, why would you let millions of people die? Why wouldn't you offer aid to an ally? Isn't that the point of being allies as a country? But they won't. They won't send them PPEs. They're not sending them vaccines. They're not doing shit. They're hoarding it all for themselves. What if? Yeah, well, maybe you wouldn't need a, a what if situation if you yourself were more responsible about your messaging. It's the part of the reason why why America keeps refacing the pandemic nonstop is because there's no consistent messaging. Hey, wear wear your masks. Get vaccinated. Also, after you get vaccinated, you know, eh, we're not sure about what that's going to do. Oh, we are sure now. So everything, just ignore everything we've been saying. But also keep wearing masks. But also don't. What? Oh, we're opening up schools again. Yeah, community spread comes from schools, but it's going to be safe, though. How? Eh, it will be. What are you talking about? Bill Gates straight up said no. He won't release the patents because it's, quote, too complicated and too expensive. Fuck it. Who cares? You're a billionaire, bro. What does that mean? For a month, you don't get your fucking designer alpaca sweaters that make it look like you're the common man? Oh, Bill Gates, he's just like one of us. Look at his schlubby sweaters made out of fucking alpaca skins or whatever. Just shop at Target for a month. You'll be fine. Guess what? Even if you lose a billion dollars out of this, you still have a bunch more billion of billions of dollars. Who gives a shit? People's lives are in danger. Again, this becomes a matter of economics versus public health. It's one of the it's it's the theme of the fucking pandemic, isn't it? It's the theme of the fucking pandemic. So now they're facing two crises all at once. The Modi government was doing an abysmal job handling the one. And again, who's going to who's going to get fucked over in the end? P the regular average fucking working class people. Wasn't the point of the vaccine initially to ensure that 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 hospitals all around the world don't get overwhelmed and what happened? Hospitals all around the world got overwhelmed. And now in India because you're not shipping any vaccines to them, after you talked about how fucking important it is, and then you wonder why people come up with, with, with conspiracy theories and such. You wonder why people are against this vaccine. You preach its importance so much, and then when a country actually needs it, you go, yeah, but I don't see it. It's just so much. There's a thing. I got dinner. My mom's coming over. So it's just like, this is just not a good time for us to like help India with the resources that we do they have resources we need do, did you did we find oil in India we did not yeah we can't it's I got a thing it's it's almost we're barbecuing so I gotta go that's the way that they look at it That's the way it works for capitalism. Doesn't actually give a shit. All right. Looking over at some comments. Let's see where where did we where did we start? Uh Holly says they have clean labs ready to make the vaccines, but patent. Yes, they, they do. There's actually uh the I think the Serum Institute of India is like, yo, we're ready to rock and roll. All we need, all we need is 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 for you to drop the patent and send over some, you know, send over the information, make it public knowledge, so that we can all benefit from this thing. But they can't. Bill Gates said no, right? And 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 who does Joe Biden answer to? People like Bill Gates. He answers to the donors. He answers to the billionaire class. He's not a president of the fucking people. He's a president of the billionaires. He's always been that way. Cuba sent docs. To Italy, yeah, I remember reading that. 
Uh, Mexico actually, uh, I think they have like nine or 10% of their population vaccinated. And they said, okay, well, we're doing better than India right now. So we're going to take a portion of our, sh- uh, of our vaccine shipment and send it over to India so that they can have some. Mexico did that. Mexico has less people vaccinated than America does. And they were like, hey, we're going to fucking help them out because that's the right thing to do because we're part of a global community. We all kind of have to start taking care of each other here. This pandemic could have been an opportunity to see some real solidarity in people, but we didn't because we're run by capitalism and there is no solidarity in capitalism because it's all about hyper individuality. <laughs> Miguel, vaccine imperialism. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, I didn't I didn't coin that term, by the way, um, that 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 term has been floating around for for quite some time. Um, CG says the great culling, perhaps. Uh, I'm gonna uh, it baked into the Great Reset. I don't. I don't think I've heard. I, I'm. I'm. I'm with. Uh... Oh, is that what? Okay, so social murder is what you guys are saying. It is okay. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Um. Yeah, I did say pay American. CG points out pay pay Americans a decent wage. There's a rub. Yeah, I. I. I know. I did say pay Americans a decent wage, and we all know it's impossible. There's a senate senate parliamentarian and and they said uh, i don't know 15 that seems like a really big number i can only count up to 12 i haven't even heard of 15 so maybe we pause at 12 you know yeah uh please make bill gates go away melinda did melinda made bill gates go away she was like i'm done with you and i don't want to see your dumb face or your stupid sweaters ever again Um. <laughs> uh, Holly's keeping the mask CG. It was messed up before all this. Uh, yeah, I am too. You know, I'm I'm being a little bit more careful about it. Um, uh, again, I, I kind of ranted and raved about this decision from the CDC on my podcast a while back. I just see this being a bad idea. You know, there nobody's going to go for the vaccine passports. There's some places that are trying to uh, do the vaccine passport. That's a bad idea. That's it. That's, you know, what, what, what do they call it? The strong, whatever bullshit thing they use to dismiss it. But this is a slippery slope. This is a slippery slope. If they, if they say, and, and, and venues and, and, uh, businesses and all that adhere to, to, to the idea of the vaccine passport, well, what's next guys, you know, what do we got to get our fucking vaccine information tattooed on us? Come on. That's it's just a bad idea. So, again, just like the mass mandates, there's no real way that you can enforce this without without coming out and being like, hey, we're instating authoritarianism. Yeah, show us show us your papers. <laughs> show us your jabs. That's what you can't do it. You can't do it. But bum. Uh, Fred says the injections uh, don't prevent infection or spread, not really vaccines. So now they're saying, so, so the CDC is is now saying that it is that they've they've done research to find out, um, the that uh, that it is stopping the spread. That once you're vaccinated, you're not you're not spreading the thing. Um, again, you know, a lot of even scientists are like, okay, even if that is true. Look, just walk around massless uh that seems ir- okay uh i did i don't know what that is okay uh oh the stream on rockfin just ended maybe that's on my end if you're on rockfin let me know if you can see the stream or if this is another weird tech disruption uh fred points out and he linked it uh a thousand lawyers over ten thousand medical professionals uh, okay, I will I will look into that article, Fred. Thank you for pointing that one out. Uh, AstraZeneca that has been definitively linked to blood clotting issues. Yes, uh, Denmark found a couple cases. So did J and J. That's why that's why Denmark removed it. Uh, but it's still approved for use in India. Uh, so yeah. 
American Red Cross is refusing plasma for fully vaccinated people because mRNA kills natural COVID antibodies. Uh, that I've heard, I have not found any information about Fred. So yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how accurate that is or isn't. The the mRNA. The, there's a lot. There is a lot of misinformation floating around about the uh, mRNA stuff. Uh, I've talked to like my sister has. My sister studied virology and she pre- specifically studied like prevention and stuff. So that's who I go to. That's that's my go to uh, in in terms of you know like talking about this sort of stuff. So. Uh, there does seem to be some misunderstanding of of what you know mRNA is and all that. Uh, it, it is I I it is not a uh, um, gene altering thing uh, it, because M- RNA doesn't con- actually contain any genetic information. Uh, it is it's sort of like a data packet to to be like here this is this is how you make this thing if that makes sense. So, uh, yeah, I I've I've heard some of the stuff that you that you that you're bringing up Fred. Um I just I'm not sure as as far as the validity of it. Um I would have to look into it a little bit further. Uh but but thank you for that link. I will definitely look into that link uh when I get a moment. Uh and you guys are saying that you can still see it on Rockman. Okay, so so, so that's probably a Google Chrome uh issue or 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 the fact that I might need to get an Ethernet cord uh, moving forward. But yeah. Uh, we're... Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button. And please make sure you share this content out. Sharing is very important. Sharing is how independent media gets the word out there about topics that corporate media doesn't even want to mention on their networks. So it's really up to you guys. Corporate media very much depends on the people. We are people-powered media. That's what we really are. Uh, Another great way to help if you're on stable financial ground is to uh, make a financial contribution to this channel. And you can do so over at krishmohanhaha.com slash donate. You can become a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets, early access to videos, bonus stand-up comedy and storytelling content, uh, a way for you to communicate directly with me, ask me questions, and other uh, premium content that uh, will be released on a monthly basis. Um, Or you can make a one-time donation as well on that same website. Um, I also have uh, various stand-up comedy albums. I have about six comedy albums out right now. Uh, that are available on my website at krishmohanhaha.com. And most of them, if you get them off of Bandcamp, are available for a dollar or a, a pay-what-you-want pricing. And I also want to mention that I do have an online merch store. Uh, you can go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com, click on the Merch tab, and check out all of the designs that I've made myself. And the Julian Assange shirt, there is a Julian Assange shirt that's on the website. All the profit from the Julian Assange designs will be going to uh, pro-Assange activists such as Action for Assange, uh, Kevin Gostola, Richard Methurst, folks uh, 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 that that are covering and talking about Assange. So I'm going to be making donations to them. Um, uh, It'll be 100% of the profits I make off of that shirt. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. Thank you again to all the people that have made contributions to the show, that regularly check out my content, that have subscribed to my channels. I, I very, very much appreciate it, and uh, and you guys help keep this uh, keep keep this this train a moving. So I, I very much appreciate that. Until the next video, we'll see you on the road. See you guys.